Good afternoon. It's been a long time since I made a um, autom automotive repair video. And uh, every now and then I make them because my truck throws an engine check light. Um, it threw a code of um, 121 and it said that the throttle paddle position sensor is um, defective. So the first thing I did was I took this little gadget here, my Bluetooth tester, plugged it in and it gave me that 121 code. Um, basically what it said was I need to replace the throttle paddle position sensor and that's what I did. Um, let me show you what I did here. I ordered a throttle paddle position sensor, right? And this is it right here. Yeah, this is straight out the box. This is the new one. And uh, all I gotta do is replace, all I gotta do is replace this one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna break it. Okay, on this, can you see it? All it is is a, old timers would call it a gas power. Today's le electronic technology is something totally different. Um, it has a, a mount here and it has a, a mount here. And it has a plug in right here. Okay. And uh, you undo those two screws. Here and up top. There are 10 millimeter screws, okay? Once you unscrew those, plug the um, mounting, plug the plug back in, and it's replaced. It's simple as that. But before you do that, first thing you need to do is come over and disconnect the battery. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the battery Pause this and I'm gonna come right back. Uh, where's the pause button? Okay, I'm back. The battery's been disconnected. The battery's been disconnected and here are my tools right here. These are all the tools I'm gonna use. Um, and probably not gonna need all these. I have a 10 millimeter socket with an extension and I have a 10 millimeter drive ratchet and don't forget this is the replacement part right here so we're gonna take another break all right I'm back I'm gonna show you what's got to be replaced um, see if I can do this correctly there's a screw right here it's a 10 millimeter screw okay this plug got to become, uh, you got to unplug this plug, and then up here, there's another screw up top. And uh, what I'm going to do, I've already loosened it to speed the time up. Now, on the plug, first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, unplug the battery. So I've already disconnected the battery. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze this pin and undo this plug. And they'll go to the plug right there. All right, I just undid the locking pins and I'll squeeze the, and unloosen the pin and, and let it loose. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, which has already been loose. And I took the top one out already. So it's two screws and a plug and disconnecting your battery cable. And if you can't, you shouldn't have to take your car to the shop to do, undo two screws and a plug and pay three, four, five hundred dollars to do it. Especially if you know what the code and the problem is. I'm gonna replace this accelerator. I mean, it's uh, throttle pedal position sensor is what it is. And I'm undoing that now because I've already loosened it. And that's the old one. Okay. The old one is off. That's it. There ain't no uh, cables and none of that old stuff from the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. It's all electronic. And I got the old one off. So we're going to pause this. All 
Okay, I got a new one installed, the new assembly installed. I gotta continue to tighten up the, uh, or finish tightening up this top mountain bolt. And the plug is, the mountain plug for it, hell, is right here. No cables, no nothing. This is just strictly, uh, electronics so it's plugged in and then pretty much that's it the gas powder is uh gas powder throttle paddle position sensor has been replaced and i just gotta tighten up this screw here and this one on top i gotta tighten it up once i tighten it up it's a wrap okay it's done I think this is going to be our three-piece video. Anyway, the new accelerator is in. It's tight. And the cable is back in. Okay. All I got to do next is connect the uh, battery cable. I connect the battery cable and I'm pretty much done with it. Okay, I've connected the battery cable back. I gotta reset the check engine light. Here's the old part right here. The old linkage. Um, gas paddle for old folks. Throttle position, throttle paddle position sensor, which the sensor is inside of here. Right here. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it. Let me see if I can turn this around. If you got any questions, hit me up. Um, I've also have a YouTube page. Just type in Clarence Gillum, and it bring up all my automotive repair videos, and you can see it firsthand. Other than that, peace.